seemed like when you play NBA 2K20, you can't miss this build. The offensive threat build, y'all might know it as the BP build, but if you don't know what the BP build is, it is slashing and sharpshooting build. It's literally Hall of Fame shooting and Hall of Fame finishing. A lot of people say, what is BP? What does it stand for? It is a NBA 2K League player named BP, the person who made the build very popular. I can tell you, he might not have been the first, but he made the build very popular because he used it a lot in stage, pro-am, and he literally made the build crazy enough to show out and showcase it to other people and it's just been used all around you just may be watching a video right now you maybe have a bp bill you just might not know this called a bp bill but you might have a bp bill right now and you use it every day to have fun use screens iso whatever the way you do it but i can't say this is the ultimate scoring build it's not the tallest build but it's also the ultimate scoring build but if you want to make it taller it's going to be a scoring machine or a two-way scoring machine based on how you make it. So we're gonna first to the My Player Builder where greatness starts and everything's happen. So look, we're gonna start off, make this build a point guard. You can make a shooting guard to get more dunk packages, but you being a certain height, I wanna make it a shooting guard. But look, point guard, the pie chart, like I told you guys, the green and blue pie chart. You would think if it hadn't blue in the pie chart, it would have a high tendency of dunking. But if you understand what I mean by tendencies, it's based on the amount of what you do the most or what you do the least to let your player be able to recognize of how much you shoot a certain spot or take a dunk at a certain position or how much layups you usually do. So it end up going up and down. You can have a high layup tendency and a low dunk tendency. You would end up getting more layups or you can have a high dunk tendency and a low tendency of layups and you literally dunk every time. But right now, I'm building this build for you guys right here. This is a BP build that I'm making for you guys that's not legend. So if you're not legend, this is the way you're gonna make it. As you see, I have 86 slow shot layup. Driving dunk is at 82. You have to, one thing as well, you have to be a 97 or 90, I think, yeah. 97, 98 to be, get contact dunks. I think it's 98 overall. 98 overall to get contact, elite contact dunks. It's, it's 97 to just get regular contact dunks. But when you're making this build, I got 14, 20, 15, and I'm gonna end up with maybe seven or eight defensive badges. So look, with the playmaking, you see I have an 82 ball control. Don't worry about that. Don't worry. Once you lower your wingspan a little and you change the weight in here and there, this build's gonna be way faster than what it usually is. Right here, for all you guys that's not legend, this would be the somewhat best way to make it. If you want more finishing badges, you could do that and take less playmaking badges or you want less defensive badges, but this is the best way I will make it to get somewhat defensive badges even though you're not going to mostly check ball with this build just because of the height and how you're going to hit get hit by screens so if you're a legend you're watching this video this is the way i'm building it based on how i will play i'm doing 15 finishing badges 15 shooting badges 15 playmaking badges and nine defensive badges you might say bro is this way better than what it is for actual bp that's just off the rip it might be, it's based on you. I have 25, 25, 25, and 19 at Legend. So me building this build, I can sacrifice certain things. I can sacrifice my free throw in this build because who's gonna be using their free throw and I have an 84 post fade. But I'm gonna make this player define. So we got through the easy part. So now you need to pay very, very close attention. We're about to get through the hard part. I am building this build with the metric system. If you don't know what the metric system is, it's a unit of measurement that is used not in the US, it's gonna be used in any other country but the US. So look, all you gotta do is go to the features settings at the main menu, then you go to settings, then you wanna scroll all the way down to unit of measurement. In America, we use imperial system. In other countries, like same way we use Fahrenheit and other countries use Celsius. So look, I'm changing my units of measurement to metric system. So Make sure you guys do that if you want to learn how to do this and make your player somewhat taller than what it usually is. Right now, as an average height on an actual point guard, we're going to be 6'3". When you first make your player, or no matter if you have the metric system on, it's going to be a 6'3 build at point guard. But when I scroll down, I can go all the way to 6'3", all the way to 6'1", but right here at 1.88 meters, I am a total of 6'1". But when I scroll back up, I am a total of six foot three. If I go down one, I am six foot two point eight. 
I did the same thing as well on my playmaking glass cleaner. If you seen that last video of me playing on my playmaking glass cleaner, it will be a 6-7 out of game, but in game I'm 6-8. If I play with another 6-7, I will be at the center position when we play twos or threes. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna be end up being at the center position if we both make power four six sevens. I will be at the center position because I'm six seven point nine. But when you come to make this build, if you really don't understand like how to make the wingspan, just do lowest wingspan, lowest weight if you want to. But if you still don't understand how to actually read the actual units of measurement, all you gotta do is just click eights all the way through, make sure you make the build, and then back all the way back out, change your settings back into Imperial, and then go back in and then go change the arm length. If you didn't understand that, I'm gonna show you what I exactly We're choosing takeover. This is one way to also mess up a build. This is the main key part of your build. This will let you get takeover the fastest. So if you know you're gonna be, this is a scoring build, remember this, this is a scoring build. You're gonna be shooting the ball and dunking the ball. Which one are you gonna be doing the most? Are you gonna, do you wanna have your sharp takeover since you're gonna get the ball even faster, get the bar all the way up, and slashing takeover to get the bar all the way up. But if you end up picking playmaking takeover, it's gonna take you a little longer because most of the time you're playing on this field, you're not looking to mostly pass, or if you do pass, it's not gonna give you that much takeover. This is the build of literally scoring. So for me, I'm still gonna pick playmaking because when I ISO, I don't mind getting my takeover a little slower because I do have takeover boost and I will be putting a flashy passer on so when I do throw those flashy passes to my wing or my corners and knock down the shot we're both in the run of getting our takeover so you know this build is going to be a offensive threat build the BP offensive threat slashing and shooting pie chart Hall of Fame shooting and slashing badges so look as you watch this video I need you to pay attention right here as well once we go back, like I told you, if you didn't understand what I said, I'm going back to the main menu, changing my settings back to the actual Imperial units of measurement. I will do that. I'm gonna change my settings and it's gonna say I'm 6'2", maybe 168, 69 pounds. Like I said, 168, 69 pounds, 6'2", minimum wingspan. So all I'm gonna do is back out, change two things to show y'all guys what to do. So I'm gonna back out, go over and say I got a 74.6. I'm gonna just make it minimum. Say my weight is 168. I'm gonna just mess with it, see if I can go any lower. But for the height, you do not wanna touch this. If you already did the metric system, do not touch your height. Do not. If you touch your height, it's going to reset back to the actual 6-2 the game is showing us as an Imperial system. But for the metric system, you guys want to leave that as is, and then you can mess with the weight if you want to, just so you can see what it is. So look, wingspan, minimum, weight, minimum. Just believe this actually works. So when making a BP build from a metric system, I pick play, make, and take over. It's actually somewhat decent. I played Court Conquer to try to get the badges and stuff like that. And you won't believe that I almost finished this build. Finish this build in one day playing Core Conquer. So keep your eyes on the lookout. This video will come out very soon for a BP build actual 99 gameplay. When I like making these builds, I like to get the builds to 99, especially with rare builds. I prefer to get the builds to 99 because anybody can just show you gameplay of me just being on a regular rugged point 86 overall with four badges in total like I anybody can do that I don't want to do that I want to show you the full build maxed out as you see 25 25 25 19 25 out of 25 for finishing I think I'm 22 for 25 for shooting 20 for 25 for playmaking and 12 for 19 for defensive badges you don't know how hard it is. I'm going to let you guys know. For a BP build, playmaking on a BP build is very hard. Even though I start out with 10 playmaking, 10 everything. I got them 40 extra badges. It saves me time. But to actually finish a BP build or semi get it done in the amount of time that I did it in, that's kind of crazy. So just know, if you haven't dropped a like on the video yet, I need you to drop a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, I need you to subscribe. Get this video to 350 likes and you will get the video instantly. Once it hit 99 and touch 99.9, .9, it's going out the next day, instantly. So y'all guys stay tuned for the next actual build, but hold on, hold on, y'all thought it was maybe over. You thought it was maybe over. Y'all thought I was regularly an 87 overall. But what if I tell you I'm close to being almost a 95 overall on this build just by playing one event, just by playing Fort Conquer. 
just doing my thing. Y'all know what I was doing. I was literally VIPing whoever I seen. You got VIPed and you was in my part. Hey, no hard feelings, but we had to get the build done. This this build was literally for you guys. Y'all wanted to see me ice on a different build, and this is what I'm giving you. I'm icing on different builds, not the same play shot, not the same slash and playmaker. I'm making new builds just to show y'all guys that hey. I can ice on any build and still shoot a meter on any build. But y'all might think, oh man, you might be real mad. I have all my shooting hotspots on the three-point line. Yes, all my shooting hotspots. Not one, all of them. So when I get out of my career and I get out playing rec, it's going to be over. It's literally going to be over. Make sure you guys drop a like on the video. Y'all know that when you drop a like on the video, it doesn't take you that long. And also, it does help out the video. Also, subscribe and put on them post notifications. If you haven't yet, follow me on Twitch and Twitter and Instagram and TikTok. Yes, I have a TikTok now at ChamamaYT. But it's been your man, Shamama, and I'm out, y'all. Peace.